Hello everyone, so this is a Dell Optiplex 390 and it had a problem. The problem was that the computer would not turn on and all I had to do was replace the power supply for this thing and I'm going to take it out and I'm going to show you how to put it back in. So the Dell Optiplex 390, as you can see right here, can uh, accept any uh, standard ATX power supply. So uh, to take the power supply out, just simply go to the back. Here and just uh, unscrew the four screws that are holding it. There's, so there's one screw here, there's one screw there, that's two, third screw right here, and the fourth screw is located right there in the left bottom corner. So you just unscrew it just put it back in and take it out take out the power supply simple as that and like I said any ATX power supply would work and this power supply is a um, EVGA 450 watt bronze 80 plus bronze power supply and it works just fine with this computer now the computer turns on and everything it doesn't have any issues whatsoever and to take it out all you have to do is you just push pushing the power supply in that way let me get it here at a better camera angle sorry let me adjust the tripod let me get a flashlight too In here, there's like a little thing. I'll point it out right here. Let me zoom it in a little bit so you can see it better. Right there. Let me. Viewing angle. You can see right there, you just push that in. Just push that in. And then push the power supply in that way. And then that will release it. Push. Before you do that, you have to uh, remove the power supply cable, the ATX power supply cable, and get the main one as well. And zoom it right here pull that out it's like a little latch thing you just push in and pull out to get the ATX power cable out as you can see right here you just push that in and then pull out that's, that's basically it that will release the power supply 
So I'm going to take this out and put it back in. That's what I'm going to do. That's a push in the thing. Make sure you remove all the SATA cables before you remove the power supply. And now it's coming out just like that. So what I did was the power supply was in. I just pushed it in this way and then push the thing down and then just remove it just like that the power supply comes out make sure you remove all, all the SATA cables from the drives and stuff and then let's say this is a new uh, power supply like I said this is the EVGA 450 watt power supply 80 plus bronze as you can see right there to get the power supply in you can see that thing right this is where I push it in and push the power supply in that way to get it out. So to get it in, it's the same thing. I'm putting it in here. And then you just push in and that's it. I should get it in. Get it out again, push the thing down. You do have to use a little bit of force to do that. It's, it's, it's in there really tight. And let me get it in again. Okay, make sure it's in like that push right in and you could upgrade the power supply or if you have a bad power supply you could just replace it yeah, I think that's in pretty good make sure you plug in the ATX power cord back into the motherboard into that white thing right there right there basically before you do that make sure this is aligned like that so all 24 pins are like in this orientation and then it goes in like this is where you have the clip thing let me align it first that's what the clip thing is at and you just push it in the wiring is the same and everything for the, the proprietary um, Dell power supply and this thing so it should just work shouldn't have any issues at all putting this thing in and uh, next thing I want to do is put the other 4 pin ATX power supply cable in so this cable it could be either this or that it doesn't matter which one they're all the same so if you have a 4 pin CPU uh, power connector on your motherboard then you could use a 4 pin but I mean the 8 pin but this is only the 4 pin so I'm just going to use that and as you can see on this motherboard I'm going to zoom in I'm going to be putting it in here 
basically and let me see which orientation this will go in okay so it goes in this way as you can see this thing right here this is a clip it goes in just like that it goes in just one way it just as you heard it just snapped in there that's it now I'm gonna get say the power cable in as you can see right there that's what I want to get in goes in only one way like that this way you just snap right in just like that and Next thing is, I want to get the SATA cable. On the SATA drive, so this thing right here. And I would have to do the same with the, for the hard drive as well. Just snap right in like that, that's it. So, the power supply is in. Now we just have to screw it in here. As you can see, all the holes are lining up, the screw holes. So one, two, three, and four, they all line up. So let me get the screws and put them in there. Not quite lined up. Is Maybe I'll try that one first. Okay, that one's coming in. That one's going in too. Okay. Get the last four in. The last one, okay. Don't tighten it too hard, just make sure it's firmly in there. You don't want to mung the screws up, so just make sure it's in there just tight, just firm. And that's it. Now the power supply is firmly in there. And let's just close the, let me check if all the cables are connected. Check if the ATX power cable is firmly in there. Okay. Looks like it's in there pretty pretty well. Okay. Let me close the case and that's it. So for the cape for the case you just line up these tabs I don't know if you can see that these tabs line it up with the holes the little holes right here the little cutouts you just put it in like that and you just snap it right in close the case 
let's see if it works. So, okay. So, uh, let me focus that. So this is the same computer that I was working on. Let me get some light in here. This is the same computer that I was working on, the Dell Optiplex 390. And I'm going to see if it turns on or not. As you can see, it's lighting up and everything, so it's a good sign. Booting. Okay, as you can see, it booted into uh, Windows 10. And it's working so this computer basically um, for some reason stopped turning on so I didn't know if, if it was a power supply or not but it is so I just replaced the power supply and now it works okay that's it so thanks for watching my ace 1000 ks 1975 signing out